I'm getting your daughter taken away from you. Hi guys, uh, I missed you because I don't really have many friends and this is the only way I talk to people. Okay, but we're back, okay? Our first clip is Kylie Jenner with her beautiful natural transformation, inspiring so many girls that can uh, look like her with a couple needles and three million dollars. Kylie Jenner didn't always look like that. She used to look like this, a nice, normal girl. And what she's done is convinced other nice, normal girls that she made her face go from this to this via a lipstick <laughs> that only she sells. You guys ever heard of the magic lipstick that changes your entire facial features? Not just your lips, but rearranges your bones and shit, you know? That's the kind of lipstick I use. So get this, right? Somebody actually did like a side-by-side -side comparison of Kylie Jenner, of how she would actually look without plastic surgery and with plastic surgery, right? And they did this using like this AI software and it's actually so creepy. Sure, I think my love for makeup started what? with my insecurity no with my lips. I had really small lips. Okay. Oh. And I felt unkissable. Dude, what the hell are people doing with our lives? You're really obsessing over people like this. These are your idols, okay? You know, these people have started like billion dollar makeup industries. Like these are what girls look up to. They're like, I wanna look like Kylie Jenner. Like, no, you don't wanna look like Kylie Jenner. Have you seen the shit she's done to her face? Like, bro. I'm sorry, you should just look, I mean, don't even look at natural people because, you know, it's like, this is genetic differences. I feel like just maximize your own looks through diet and exercise. Anything else? Please stay away. Stay from all the needles and bullshit. Like, I can't, man. I don't know about you guys, but it's just really sad to me that this is, this is what people look up to. And like, they try to buy all these makeup products. Like, they legitimately go insane over this. They're like, oh, surely if I buy this next uh, product that Kylie is releasing, I will look exactly like her. Like, listen to all the people buying this sort of makeup in hopes of looking exactly like her. I mean, I'm sorry, that's just not how it works, okay? You really need a reality check. I'm sure this AI prediction probably opened your eyes a little bit. All right, our next clip is pretty funny. We got this guy uh, breaking up with his girlfriend over subway surfers. Uh, not a sentence I thought I would ever say, but okay. <laughs> She'd be like, I'll miss you. He don't care. He trying to get a world record in Subway Surfers, okay? Okay, I'm just gonna assume this is probably fake. Okay, let's be real, but come on. It's pretty funny. You know, after watching that entire conversation, I was like, wow, that's, a, that's one way to dump somebody. And then I realized it was the girl dumping him. It wasn't even him dumping her because that's kind of how it sounded like. She was just like, I'm breaking up with you. Please be sad about it. I'm like, okay, like what the hell? All right, moving on to why the hell is this on TikTok? Apparently, there's this sort of separation going on between a couple with kids, okay? We got the guy, we got the girl. And uh, the caption says, she's taking my daughter away because I don't want to be with her. Pretty deep stuff for TikTok, if you ask me, but uh, hey, I'm I'm perfectly fine eavesdropping in on uh, horrible relationships. She's taking my daughter away because I don't want to be with her. Bro, what the fuck? Like, I don't understand. I can't hear you. Can you get away from my car? I can't hear you. Thank you. I can't hear you. What did I do to you? I'm not opening the door. She can hear me perfectly fine. She can hear me perfectly fine. You know my favorite part about the internet? The absolute heaps of context I'm given to the clip I'm reacting to. What the hell is going on? This dude has just locked himself in a car. His girl is out there just screaming at him saying, ah, I don't, uh, get, get back together or something. I don't even know what the hell she was saying. This dude is like whispering like, she can definitely hear me. I don't know, man. I, I, I don't know. I don't know how car, car, car windows work. Uh, maybe I'm just being a dumbass here, but if, if you can hear her, surely she can hear you. Girl, please, can you come back? Can you please come back? I don't know 
why you left me? Whoa, whoa, whoa. Okay, okay. She turned on witch mode. What the hell was that? It was like, she's talking so sweet. She's like, um, yeah, okay, can you please come back? I don't know why you left me. <laughs> what the hell was that? Bruh, bruh, she just turned on witch mode. God damn. Why you left me? Can you please come back? Uh, yeah, y'all see, y'all see why. Away from because of, you. Because of me. You already f it up, bro. I already got that. Bro. Bro, get the f away from my car, bro. Get away from my car. I can't hear you. Weirdo, bro. John, Okay, not gonna lie, I'm a little bit confused, but from the little bit of context I was given, it seems like she's a little bit of a wacko. Uh, not, not gonna lie, just uh, the way she's acting. But hey, I, I don't really know the story behind this, but hey, uh, apparently your your kids are gonna be taken away from you because uh, you, you don't want to be in a relationship with her. Uh, I, I, I don't know what the hell I'm supposed to do about it. Let's move on. All right, this is probably the most embarrassing clip of the video. This girl is so incredibly insecure that she's telling another girl to not park w I I next to her boyfriend's car because uh, on the off chance that the boyfriend, you know, looks to the side and sees uh, a another girl who is apparently pretty because uh, she's definitely insecure about it. Park here. Park here? My boyfriend, this is, you're parking next to my boyfriend's car. It's a parking lot. I can park next to anybody I want. You're parked next to my boyfriend, though. Can nobody park in a parking lot next to your boyfriend's Get car? Get out of my spot. This isn't... Don't park next to my boyfriend. I just love how every interaction nowadays is always filmed and put on TikTok. So people like me can eavesdrop on these situations and just be like, Yeah, you dumb piece of shit. Are you crazy? Are you insecure? Are you crazy? I know you not just say that to me. What is your problem? Get out of my parking spot. You're parked next to my boyfriend. Are you okay? Wait, I'm just confused. How does that other girl even function in society? It's like, do you not allow your boyfriend to even open his eyes or something? Like, he's going down the road, all these girls walking around, he's like, don't you dare look in their direction. You dare, you take a peek and I, divorce. Divorce immediately. Goddamn, dude, have some goddamn control. I think the guy should immediately get out of the relationship. Clearly, uh, she's a little little too insecure about herself she can't even take another girl being in the same vicinity in the same goddamn parking lot oh my god bro also gotta say i'm, I'm no officer of the law but uh a parking spot is a parking spot and if you if you paid for it or if it's free parking they're allowed to park there here's a thought maybe if you don't want someone parking next to your boyfriend you should be parked next to your boyfriend or or maybe that wouldn't work because there's two sides to it and then the, another girl could come in the other side how about you just get get over your goddamn issues with yourself anyways that's pretty much it for this video hope you guys enjoyed smash the like bye bye